All right, now I have got the Galaxy S22 Ultra here, which is running on One UI 5.0 beta based on Android 13. And on the left hand side, I have got the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which is on the previous iteration of One UI, which is One UI 4.1 based on Android 12. In this video, let's check out the all new Bixby routines we have got on this device, which is on One UI 5.0. Let's compare it to the previous iteration of Bixby routines and see whether there is any real difference, whether there's any new feature or whether there is any real change here or not. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into it. Let me open settings on both these devices. Let's scroll all the way down. Let's tap on advanced features. Now, as you can see here, in the previous version, we had a toggle to turn on Bixby routines right here. Whereas on the newer version, we can directly get inside the Bixby routines. We don't have a toggle here. We will have to tap on Bixby routines to turn on any of the routines inside the settings. Let me tap on this. As you can see on the new version, the UI has completely changed. As for Samsung, this is the most simplified version of Bixby routines menu we have here. As you can see, we have got a few modes right here. At the bottom, you see only two tabs. Now we have got modes and routines. Whereas in the previous version, it is scattered all around. We have got discover option on the left. Then we have got add routines and we have got my routines at the bottom of the screen. And if you look at the discover section, we've got all these suggestions everywhere. Whereas here on the newer version, it is very clean and simplified here. We've got some modes here. It says choose a mode based on what you're doing or where you are your phone settings will change to match your activity or situation now those of you who have been using samsung galaxy phones i'm sure you are very well aware of how this bixby routines work for those of you who are new to samsung this is an incredible feature offered by samsung which can automate your device to change your phone settings to suit your requirement basically this is an automation feature which is available on the phone now let's come back to this all new version of bixby routines here we've got some of the modes like sleep driving exercise relax and work whenever you are editing or enabling this particular mode you can just tap on this it says choose when to turn on choose whether to use do not disturb choose music to play just tap on start this is where you can select the if conditions and then you can select the then condition but these modes are already created just in case if you want to edit them you can do it right here these are more like preset modes which will be really useful now, if you want to customize a mode, you can do that by tapping on this plus button. You will see this custom option at the bottom. Just tap on this. Here, you can start to create a mode for any activity or situation. Now, let's go to routines. Here, you can see the ones which are already created are here. Uh, we can tap on this plus button on the top to add a new routine. Again, we have got if condition and then condition right here. Let me just tap on the previous version now. I'll tap on add routine. As you can see, this is how the if and then condition menu looks like. Now I'll just tap on add what will trigger this routine. As you can see, we have got all the if condition over here. This is similar to the previous version that we have. Let me just go back now. I'll tap on then condition. As you can see, you can notice some changes here. All the options are in the form of icons here right next to each other. Whereas on the newer version, we have got these scrolling options right here. Now this is subject to you. I'm not sure which one you like. I would prefer the previous version because it is very easy to see everything on one single screen. Whereas here we will really have to scroll down and search for the options that we have to set the then condition. Of course, we can search right on the top if you want, but having this menu would have been really cool. This is where we can set the then condition. Now let's go back. Now in this video, I'm not really getting into what sort of if or then condition you can set to create some routines. I have already made a bunch of videos on this. There are a couple of videos in which I have discussed about some of the cool, useful routines which you can set it up on the phone. Uh, if you want to check them out, I'll leave all these video links in the description. Go ahead and check them out. Now let's go back. Now here on the newer version, you can see on the top right corner, we have got an all new icon. This is the discover option that we have. In the previous version, we had a discover tab separately, but now here on the top right corner under routines tab, we have got discover icon. I just tap on this. As you can see, all the suggestions are right here. It's clean, it's simple, and it's very easy to find a particular routine on this discover section. Again, let's go back. I will tap on this kebab menu on the top right corner. As you can see on the previous version, we had an option edit, history, settings, steps, and contact us. Whereas on the newer version, we just have edit, history, and settings. Let me just tap on settings here. Let's see if there is anything new here. Yeah, I think there is something which is added here. You can see under privacy, we have got privacy notice, permissions, customization service options here. Whereas in the previous version, we don't see this privacy notice here. Rest of the settings are available on both the iterations of One UI. Now let's go back. 
Let me just try to create a routine here. Let me tap on this plus button. I will tap on if condition. I will tap start manually. Let me select the then condition here. I will tap on display. As you can see, we have got some additional options on oneyy5.org. You've got apply to dark mode to wallpaper option and we also have grayscale mode. There are a couple of new additions here. This is just an example I'm giving you. I'm sure there could be some additional features added in some of the other conditions as well, which I'll probably discover and share it with you guys in the future. Now, let me just tap on dark mode. I'll tap on done. Now here you see we have an option save. In the previous version we had next. I'll tap on next and I'll tap on save here. As you can see, we have got some changes here as well. We have camera and gallery on One UI 4.1, whereas now we have got icon, gallery and camera. This is not gonna make much of a difference. It is just that the menu options have changed right here. Let's tap on done. This looks pretty much the same. A new routine has been created. This is how it is on One UI 5.0. Nothing much has changed. There are some minor tweaks and UI changes here and there. Now, let me show you a couple of changes which Samsung has mentioned in the change log of One UI 5.0. As you can see, it says bedtime mode moved to Bixby routines. You can now manage bedtime mode in Bixby routines instead of the clock. By the way, the clock also has this option, the bedtime mode, and now we can manage this on Bixby routines as well. And then it says choose modes based on your activity. We just saw that now. Uh, then we have easier to discover preset routines. We already saw that all new icon on the top right corner to discover the routines then it says check running routines quickly routines that are currently running are now shown at the top of the bixby routine screen so you can understand what's happening and make changes if necessary let me show you how this works let's say we are on the bixby routines page here i will just activate a routine here as you can see the routine which i just activated is shown right here on the top under running routines tab now we will know which routine is running on the phone this is a new feature that we have on one ui 5.0 the last point on the change log says more actions and conditions for your routines automatically start routines when you use airplane mode routines can now turn on the assistant menu and adjust the left and right sound balance there are some additional options that we have in the actions and conditions section Basically, Samsung has added some additional options for if and then conditions. This is what we have got on this all new version of Bixby routines on One UI 5.0. I will probably post a couple of more videos on Bixby routines in coming days. So stay tuned for that. That's all I want to share with you guys. You let me know what do you think about this all new version of Bixby routines. Drop a comment. While you do that, be sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you find any value in this content. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.